Alright, welcome back to Zombie Mouse, where each week I bring up a topic about zombies, and I talk about it. Last week, I did The Walking Dead TV show. My thoughts on it, and pretty much all my thoughts on it was pretty much bad. So this week, I'm going to be talking about the comics, why I like the comics more than the TV show itself. So, let's get right into it. So, if you knew any... Uh, most of my friends even know this, like, I'm there for the story. I like to uh, look up stuff and just look at the backstory of everything. And with the Walking Dead comics, they do a lot of, lot of its story. It's just a lot of its story. Like, they're not pretty much, uh, what would I say, holding back. They're, they don't want to hold back. It's a comic. They have to sell the comic, and they're pretty much killing people sometimes when it's necessary. And it's really fun to just read it. It's There's cliffhangers when there needs to be, and there's even just great storytelling. So, the best way I can say this was when um, most of the side and main characters died, which was when the prison raid happened. Of course, some of the characters left before the prison raid because they knew it was getting too hot, the governor was going to be coming up anytime soon, so they left. But there was a lot of characters that died. I'll probably put up a few pictures in the slideshow of this. And they're not afraid to just kill people when it, when it needs to happen. And there's great events that happen, like the war with uh, Negan, the hunters, and just a bunch of other ones with Shane at the very beginning at like uh, was it days days gone by the volume one. So that's an that's one thing I actually love about the comics. They have a good story and they're staying with it. Unless unlike the TV show in season one at the very end we've seen the CDC, and what do they do with that story? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's not there anymore. The CDC, my memory bank, it's, I don't remember it. But in the comics, they actually reference back to uh, pretty much old stuff all the time. With Rick's keys he always has in, a po in his pocket. And everything like that. So, that's, an, that's the great thing about the comics that I love about it. Alright, now there's always up and downs for a, a lot of things. For the comics itself, for the ups, it's really good story work. It's awesome. You could just read it over and over. I think I read the comics a few times over, and there's a lot of good characters. They write out the characters. They write some of their backstories. Not a lot, but they do for most of them. And it's just great to just read them and figure out what's going on in their head, what you might think that they're thinking. The only real downsides I see in the comics themselves is that it pretty much slows down after big events that's just happened over the last few months, and then it slows down for a bit. Uh, there's no zombies, they're just rebuilding the characters back up, and there you go. That's the only real downside that I could see. And also that it's bi-monthly, but I'm not criticizing them because they got life too. They're not just going to be sitting there all day and all night just making comics. Like, I don't know, slave workers. So that's the only real downsides and upsides that I see with this. One big thing that I love about the comics is the art. You can just sit there and look in the background, seeing all the good designs that they make, and when there's a big uh, like picture or a full full page art, it's really good that they take time and just pretty much do the art for it. I appreciate it. I don't know about other people, but I think it's really good. I can sit there for about a few minutes or half an hour and just look, look through the comic and just look at all the great stuff that they did. So there's another thing. Okay, now the last thing. I know this is going to be a short episode, but it's going to be good. For the last thing, it's it's a comic. It's great to just have a comic around. When you buy a comic, you're not going to be like, Oh man, I need to hook up this to my TV. I need to put HDMI. I need to do all this and that. No, you go up to a comic shop, you buy the comic, and it's yours. You have it pretty much until you rip it, ruin the comic itself. But you don't need anything for a comic. You just sit down and read. 
there's nothing for nothing at it. You can bring it to your school, to your mall, in your car, or anywhere you go. It's great. That's why I like a comic so much. You can just sit back, read the comic as long as you want, and there you go. You have it for later. You can read it later instead of going online, trying to find the episode, downloading the episode, or if you have Netflix, watch the episode on that, paying a month monthly fee, and then doing all this and that. So, that's the last thing. Alrighty, that was this week's episode of Zombie Mouth. Next week, I'll probably do something special. I don't know. That I just did these two episodes, so here we go. That's the end of the episode. Like always, bye.